gonna be Halloween. Good morning. <laughs> it's a very sunny day. This is the next day for you guys, but yesterday you saw that I created this beauty. I am outside. I took the corpse bride outside. Yeah. We're going to carve this pumpkin. And it's already beginning to be a little yucks. So I figured today's the day. So obviously this is going to be the front. I'm going to see if I can place you guys so you can see what I'm doing. I actually think it's a good idea that the corpse bride gets a little sun. I'm back. We have tools. I put a microphone on so you guys can hear me. I think that's a good idea. I have coffee because even the corpse bride needs coffee. It's actually pretty nice outside, but it was frost outside this morning. So we are moving into the cold season, which we spoke about yesterday, giving the pumpkin um, massage ASMR. Moon is sleeping inside. Last time I actually did this with Kiri. <laughs> so we'll link it up here. There's two parts. I guess what I'm going to start out with is creating, or not creating, I'm going to take the top off. Um, or maybe I should actually make the mouth first, or the eyes, so that I know. <sighs> okay, let me know if you guys do this. Do you do these pumpkin carvings? I would absolutely love to know. I have never done it when I was a kid and I think it's actually two years ago that I started doing it for I yeah I have that video the first time that I did it I talked about aliens so I will link it up here it's bleeding already so I'm not the best when it comes to this and I don't have the right tools but I'm doing it anyway oh you did a weird thing and I am recording with my phone, so I cannot even look at a picture for reference. So this pumpkin is for sure just going to have personality. Isn't that what it's all about? Personality. Even for the pumpkins. He's actually pretty easy to cut around in. <laughs> I think he's due date. Like, don't you dare say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today I am doing a voiceover while I carve the pumpkin because we're going to talk about the truth behind Jack o' Lantern. Because we all know that Jack o' Lantern are a sure sign for the Halloween season. But there is uh, not a story behind the jack-o'-lantern than just us putting a um, candle in it or using it for decoration or using it for gathering all the Halloween candy. Once upon a time, there was a man, a very clever man called Jack, and he lived in a very quiet little village. But he had many problems in his life. He always got into trouble. He always made fun of other people. He was drinking a little bit too much. And he always walked around the village trying to find someone who wanted to drink with him. But no one really seemed to want to do that. So he made friends with the devil. But the devil obviously just wanted to claim Jack's soul. That was the only purpose that he had in mind. So they went to a bar and obviously Jack didn't want to pay for his own drinks. So he tried to convince the devil to pay his drinks. So he tried to trick the devil and he said that, hey, devil, so you have all these magical powers. So you can actually technically turn into a gold coin and you can pay for our drinks. And the devil answered with a laugh and said, well, if you promise me a soul, you can have everything that you desire for the rest of your life. And even true that Jack was someone who was greedy, he obviously didn't want to lose his soul. And he didn't really have any money left, so he agreed to the devil's 
condition. And obviously the devil was very satisfied with this. So with a snip of his finger, he turned into a gold coin. So the devil's voice awoke from the coin and he asked Jack to obviously pay for the drinks and to hand over his soul. But obviously that was not Jack's intention at all. He laughed and he pulled this silver cross out of his pocket and he placed it on the coin. And obviously the silver cross prevented the devil from turning back into his form. So he was trapped. Oh my God. <laughs> so the devil kept begging Jack to forget about him wanting to have his soul. He told Jack that he would do anything. And Jack laughed and said, that's okay. But you have to promise me that you pay for my drink and that you will not bother me for a year. And the devil agreed. So Jack took the cross away again and the devil turned into the devil. And the devil was not fully happy about what just happened. But he couldn't do anything. He agreed, you know, a promise is a promise. So he left and Jack was very happy about that. So from that day, Jack just enjoyed a peaceful life. Did what he always did. He could go about his business not worrying about the devil. But obviously, Jack didn't know that the devil had planned to take revenge. So the devil kept a close eye on Jack. He watched him every day. He watched all his moves and he just waited for this year to pass so that he could return and continue his plan with claiming Jack's soul. And the year went by and obviously the devil went back with the intention to claim Jack's soul. So he found Jack and he was like, hey, so Jack, my friend the year has ended so he asked if jack wanted to drink something with him and he even said that he would pay for all the drinks that he wanted but obviously on one condition and jack was intrigued and asked what condition and the devil kept laughing the devil was very honest and said like a year ago i want you to give me your soul and jack thought that the devil you know wanted to be his friend so he realized that huh the only thing that he is trying to is actually just to take my soul so he got the idea that he wanted to teach the devil a lesson so jack said to the devil yeah that's very easy but i'm actually feeling a little bit hungry so he asked the devil to climb up a tree to pick an apple for him and he promised the devil that after they could continue with the deal. And the devil was like, sure, I thought that this would be more difficult. I can do this immediately. So the devil jumped up the apple tree and picked an apple. And that was all Jack waited for because he immediately <laughs> put the silver cross on the trunk. And once again, the silver cross deactivated all the devil's powers. So he was stuck up there. The devil couldn't fly away or climb down or anything. And the devil was immediately trying to t sweet talk, right? <laughs> Being like, hey, I actually tried to pick this apple for you. I'm just trying to be your friend. Welcome back, people. It is many hours later. <laughs> I can't take myself serious with this on. Okay, it seems like it's actually going to rain. <laughs> Okay, we're just going for it, okay? You can feel drippy drops. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can hear, I am telling this story of Jack lantern So that is what I'm going to do. And Jack was like, well, after you have, would have picked that apple for me, you would have claimed my soul and dragged me to hell. Don't even dream about it. You can stay there for the rest of my life. And the devil was like, come on, we are friends. Don't do this. How could I do this to you? I'm just kidding. It's just fun. Let me down again and I will do anything you want. And Jack was like, okay, but you have to promise me that you will never ever again claim my soul and drag me to hell. Never. And the devil agreed and he begged him to let him down. So Jack did what he promised. He took the silver cross away and the devil could go down again. And they had a nice chit chat together. They went to the pub together and they went their separate ways. So on another evening, Jack was stumbling around, returning home, drinking, 
he suddenly fell and he passed away. And it was probably all the alcohol that was eating up his body. So after he passed, his soul flew to heaven. But when he came to the gates of heaven, his soul was blocked by an angel. And the angel informed Jack that his soul was not welcomed there. An alcoholic, a troublemaker and cheater will never be able to enter heaven. And obviously Jack didn't have any other choice than to turn around. And he was very sad about it, obviously. So the only place he could walk was hell. And when the devil saw him, he answered him that he didn't really know if he was sad or if he was happy to see him. And obviously with the deal that they striked before Jack died, the devil couldn't claim his soul. So Jack asked the devil, so where can I go? The night is dark and it's cold outside. I have nowhere to go. And the devil looked at Jack and felt sorry for him because they did share a lot of memories. They did laugh together, they were drinking together. No matter what had happened, they had actually been friends for years. And now that the devil is the ruler of hell, he cannot break his promise. That's one thing, the devil can never break his promise. He cannot lie and he cannot break promises. So he cast a spell and this burning coal appeared between them. And he told Jack to take this coal so that it could light his way in the darkness. It's the only way that he could help him. So he told Jack to go out there and find his own hell. So the devil disappeared and Jack was left alone again. So he didn't have anywhere to go. And he walked around in the darkness and he found a pumpkin. So he put the coal inside the pumpkin, which was his favorite food when he lived. And so that the light could get out, he carved some holes in it so that this light could guide him in the dark. Oops! Ha <laughs> ha! And obviously, you guessed it, he died on Halloween and he wandered around trying to find his way. So that's why we still today light up pumpkins to help Jack find his way and to help other souls find their way home. Oh my god, we have some good... You know what? I think I'm going to save the, the seeds. Ew. I'm trying to beat the, the rain. I feel like it's a little bit easier to carve the pumpkin this time for some reason. I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> okay. It's going to smell delicious when it's lit up. It's slippery. Hi! Hi, Muni! <laughs> Muni is out. <laughs> did, you, did you awake from your slumber? <laughs> Moon! Hello, Raven. Did you see the pumpkin, Muni? Can you guys see her? I don't think you guys can. I made a mess. <laughs> okay, I feel like I can make the eyes bigger. Did she leave? You guys probably saw her. Isn't he adorable? It's really starting to rain. The birds are like, get your equipment inside. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. It's not raining yet. <laughs> I have to make this like flatter in a way. Oh, Wayne is with us. Ooh. Raindrop keeps falling in my neck. I wonder if I can use the cup. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> okay. 
But I actually did say that it would not rain um, until a half an hour. So in my world, I have uh, enough time, but maybe you guys can see that it is drippy drubby. It's raining. I probably just, you know, can't feel it because that I have the wig on. So I'm like, I don't know, what are you talking about? <laughs> what rain? <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. I think I need to do something about this as well. So it doesn't burn it. Der Rainer! <laughs> Muni! Where are you going, Muni? I'm raising time. Okay, I can actually see where this belongs now because of the y yuckiness. <laughs> ah, he's actually pretty adorable. You are actually pretty cute. Look at you. <laughs> Sorry for putting my finger in your eye. <laughs> but before it pours down, I think this is going to be it, people. I'm going to keep the seats, find something, and uh, uh, find something. Can I speak? Find a recipe. <clears throat> what do you guys think of our pumpkin? Last year, I actually think I called him Vincent. So this year, no, Victor. Victor. The spirit of Victor just reminded me. What should we call him? Mr. Gray. I think that is the perfect name, Mr. Gray. He's not gray, but he is Mr. Gray. I actually had an idea that I wanted to paint him black around, but I think it's going to fall away with the rain anyway. I like that it's raining and I'm just here like blibbly blobbly. <laughs> I am obviously going to show you guys how he looks, Mr. Gray, um, when he gets his light in because right now we can't see it anyway because it's not dark enough but we did it i'm very proud of us mm -hmm. i hope you guys like mr gray and my makeup <laughs> if you haven't seen me creating this makeup it was yesterday my hands are disgusting right now <laughs> so i will link it up here but thank you guys for being a part of today i hope you guys are having fun with carving your own pumpkin when you come to that, let me know when you normally do that, if you do it. And let me know how you found the story about the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern, not the pumpkin, but the jack-o'-lantern. Oh, I just realized that <laughs> he's sad if he's like sitting down. I think, we have <laughs> I think we have to put him on something, put him on a stick or something. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? Well, if we put something under him, he's going to be absolutely adorable. But thank you guys for being a part of this. I hope you guys are going to have a magical day. And I will see you guys tomorrow with more spookiness. Bye. <laughs> oh, there you are, Muni. Have you seen Mr. Gray? <laughs> she has been there all along. Hey, Moon. Like, don't disturb me. Money! Money! <laughs> oh, what is this? I think it's the birds that are eating apples. Are you enjoying yourself, Money? And here he is lit up. <laughs> Did you just move pumpkin? <laughs> he looks absolutely adorable. And he's going to keep away the bad spirits. <laughs>